Good morning YouTube and good morning Big Shavers. Uh, Paul here. It is uh, October 4th, uh, Thursday, and uh, I'm uh, gonna, uh, I had a, a, a package delivered to me yesterday, uh, or two days ago, uh, from uh, Mark uh, from the Big Shave uh, that included a, a number of uh, uh, English shaving products uh, um, that uh, I guess are common in the uh, drug stores or pharmacies and supermarkets uh, in the uh, UK and uh, included in that was uh, some uh, palm olive cream and uh, palm olive uh, shave stick shave sticks um, Ingrams uh, Erasmic and Supermax and I posted a picture on the Big Shave yesterday of those products and uh, Charlie uh, requested that I do a video with the uh, Supermax um, cream so uh, uh, there it is, and I'm going to go ahead and do a shave with it today. Um, and I guess uh, Mark said he had some trouble making a good lather with it, so um, I've gone ahead, and gone ahead and lathered it up in my uh, scuttle. It looks like a, I've got a pretty decent lather there. We'll see when I put it on my face, since I've had a, a couple of lathers recently that looked good and then uh, collapsed, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, today I'm also going to use my... Uh, my uh, new uh, Bylong uh, 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 natural uh, horsehair uh, brush. Uh, this is the, uh, I believe the model is the uh, 13601, and this is the natural uh, brown uh, hair. This is not the one that's dyed to look like a badger brush. Um, but the handles uh, uh, are pretty much the same. There's two models. Uh, I think Dorian uh, uh, from the Big Shave has the, uh, the dyed one. The handles are the same, I'm sure the bristles are the same, it's just a matter of the color of the bristles, so that's just all a matter of preference. Um, I just went for the natural one, thought it looked kind of cool, it's different than anything else I have, and uh, there's been a lot of talk about the, on the Big Shave about horsehair brushes and whatnot, so I thought I'd give it a try. I've used it a couple times, uh, it's pretty soft, uh, a lot softer than I thought, uh, has pretty good uh, back home, uh, 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 it, it's a little more flexible than the smoke bore, bore brushes, but uh, and uh, so far I've only used it in cream, uh, and it seems to whip up a good lather, and it also holds a lot of lather. So um, once you whip up your lather, you apply, you've got enough in the brush for three or four passes. So uh, seems like a uh, so far a pretty good brush. I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, it's kind of kind of different, kind of a departure from the other stuff that I have. So uh, also there's been a lot of talk about the. Um, uh, fat tip razors, uh, you know, um, so uh, I thought today I'd go ahead and use my fat tip razor. This is one of my, one of my favorites. This and the uh, R41 uh, are kind of neck and neck. Um, this is the fat tip grande. Um, it's got uh, the uh, bigger handle, uh, although uh, the weight uh, 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 between this and the piccolo, this actually is a lighter than the piccolo, which has a smaller handle. However, this handle is hollow, and I believe the piccolo handle might be solid. Um, this one is uh, gold, as you can see. Um, and uh, I've read that the head is the same as the uh, head that's on the Joris razors. Uh, um, today I'm going to use a Gillette 7 o'clock blue uh, blade. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I've applied the, uh, I have uh, just gotten out of the shower. Uh, and I applied the Shave Secret Oil to my face as a pre-shave. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wet my face here. And then uh, I'm going to apply my lather and we'll see how this goes. So it looks like the lather, um, the oil didn't seem to uh, cause the lather to collapse uh, with this particular lather. lather. This uh, cream has uh, uh, aloe vera, vitamin E, and tea tree uh, in it. Um, so I don't really smell the tea tree in this. Um, it just has kind of a nice uh, clean smell to it. It's not. Uh, I 
not real strong. Uh, definitely, I, I don't get a strong tea tree smell out of it. And I have read in the forums that there's a lot of people that have problem with tea tree irritating their, their skin. Uh, I, however, do not have that problem. I very much enjoyed the feeling, the tingle of the tea tree oil, and I also kind of like the smell of it, so... Um, Now, I don't really get a big uh, tingle from this uh, cream, nor do I really uh, get a, a strong tea tree aroma out of it, uh, so. You can see that this brush just holds, this brush just holds oodles and gobs of lather. So yesterday I used my R41, I posted that in my shave of the day picture and uh, I just got the most uh, awesome shave. With that razor yesterday. Um, If ever there was a, a BBS shave, that that was what that was probably one. Um, even you know, eight hours later, uh, I had very little stubble uh, regrowth, which is kind of unusual for me. Um, and uh, um, I had really no irritation. Um, I really didn't have to do any touch-ups at, at all, uh, which is also unusual. Um, so I was really impressed uh, uh, with that shade yesterday. Um, I, yesterday I did use the palm olive cream, which uh, uh, worked great. Um, I also used the uh, Boschkot blade in my R41. So that was a that was a really good combination yesterday. So I would say uh, this uh, Supermax cream is performing uh, quite well. Uh, the lather is uh, nice and slick and uh, it seems to be very protective as well. So today I'm just going to do three passes. Um, because of that fantastic shave yesterday, I don't have as much stubble as I normally do. In the morning. So normally I do would do just a four pass shave, a few little touch ups on my neck and and that's pretty much it. So today I'm just I'm going to eliminate one of my
across the green passes and just go against the grain on my neck and that's it. Uh, or do my typical with the grain, uh, one across the grain and then against the grain on my neck. I think it's good. So. So the fat tip really is a is a nice open comb razor. It really works great. Um, it's a little more on the aggressive side, maybe not quite as much as the uh, R41, but uh, pretty close. Uh, um, I would think uh, anyone who would or who likes the R41 would certainly like this razor. And I would think anyone uh, considering an R41 might want to consider this razor as well uh, as an alternative to it. Uh, it depends what you like. The uh, I would say the R41, the fit finish of the R41 is superior to this this razor. Um, the uh, plating is is definitely better on the R41. Uh, it looks like a more quality piece, although this one is not not uh, cheap looking in any way. It, it looks like a quality uh, quality razor, but the uh, the Mueller razors are are pretty impeccable as far as their plating and just their overall appearance. They are beautiful razors. So. But this one looks good. It's more of a uh, workhorse uh, razor. So there it is. That's the uh, um, Fat Tip Grande. This is a gold plated version, or the you know gold chrome version, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, another uh, question that's been asked is, uh, does the Weber Bulldog handle and the Icon Bulldog handle fit on that? Um, I can tell you that the Weber Bulldog handle does, does indeed fit on that razor. Um, I don't use it on that razor because I got the gold one uh, and I, you know, I can't, you know, you know the, the gold, and, uh, gold head and the, the uh, stainless uh, handle just d don't work for me. Uh, it doesn't match. and. Uh, um, uh, you know, although from a functional standpoint, it probably doesn't make any difference, but from an aesthetic standpoint, I don't like that. And this handle is more than adequate, so um, uh, there it is. Um, this is a three-piece razor as well. It's not a two-piece, so it kind of looks like a McCurr uh, bottom on it, but it is indeed a three-piece razor. So uh, there you have it. So today, um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and apply a little... Uh, um, Brute aftershave. Uh, since we're using things that we can, uh, products that are commonly found in the uh, supermarket, grocery store, uh, and pharmacies, I'm going to go ahead and use my Brute uh, aftershave. Uh, aftershave. This is the uh, the aftershave. So this one has the menthol in it, and I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, Kiehl's Facial Fuel as my aftershave aftershave. Uh, uh, mo or my moisturizer and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, I'll see you soon I have uh, some other products I need to uh, uh, use on video so have a great day take care uh, see you around